So, let me ask you this, before we talk about depression, what is the opposite of depression? Happiness. Happiness. Joy. Joy. Okay, this is uh, usually the answer I get. What? The opposite of depression is to be able to feel all the emotions. Sometimes I'm sad, sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm depressed, I'm disappointed, and everything. When there is depression, then that is the only feeling there is. Just everything is so depressing. And what is a good mental health in traditional Chinese medicine? So first, the patient is able to feel the full range of emotions, just like I just uh, mentioned. And also that every emotion comes at the right time, at the appropriate volume, he's not overwhelmed by the emotion and the patient is able to let go at the right time, okay? Uh, not <laughs> once in a while, so I don't know if you're with me. Are you with me? Okay, is this too fast? No. No. Okay. Um, a bright Shen Ming is seen through the patient's eyes. The emperor is present, it's vivid, okay? The patient shows emotional flexibility along with a firm sense of self. So I'm able to adjust to situations without losing myself, okay? The patient communicates well with others and feels a sense of belonging. The ability to feel belonging to a community, to, to a family or friends or society. Uh, if you know Maslow's pyramid of needs, this is at the bottom, the very basic need we have along with Wi-Fi, I think, um, <laughs> is, is the sense of belonging. Okay. What are the goals of the treatment? So first, we want the patient to be free from symptoms of depression. And we want the emotional balance to be regained. But is that enough? Is that really enough? I say no. <laughs> the patient needs to return to his original path and fulfills his destiny. He needs to live according to his style. And until I see my patient making active steps in his life in order to uh, return to his path, to, to his Tao, I'm, I'm not letting them go, okay? Because if they're still stuck in that job that they hate, with a spouse that they share their life with, uh, that they don't like, then depression will just come back, okay? So they need to return to their Tao to balance, uh, and then the treatment may be ended, okay? Um, any questions? Okay. When I studied Chinese medicine, we were told that depression has to do with liver stagnation. And it does, but that's not always uh, the case. And in the past 12 years of treating hundreds of people with depression, I realized there are many more <laughs> patterns and scenarios that, that depression can manifest in. In fact, just as every Shen is unique, every depression manifests itself in a unique way. Now, this, of course, can be a three-day seminar, a semester uh, course, but I just want to give you a little taste of it today. So, if we look at the patterns, we have deficiency patterns and excess patterns. Um, each, each of these represents a a certain scenario with its own symptom and diagnosis. Okay, so there is a depression that is derived from spleen chi not nourishing heart chi, or liver blood deficiency that doesn't fails to nourish the heart blood. Kidney yin fails to, to nourish heart yin, kidney yang fails to nourish heart yang. And the excess patterns, liver chi stagnation, liver or heart or both heat, fire, toxicity, damp, phlegm, phlegm is in the mind, and each one of these is a very different type of depression. Naturally, as you all know, I'm sure, in most uh, patients, the diagnosis is a combination of several patterns, okay? And that makes it a little bit more conflict, uh, complicated. And still, I just want to, to give you a, a food for thought. So I've chosen five of these um, scenarios part of these patterns, uh, and I'm going to talk about each one of them, showing you how this type of patient looks like, what are the symptoms, 
the, the, the DD markers that you know that it is this syndrome and not something else. I have three main things I want you to take from today. My message to you, just as every shen is unique, every depression is unique. It manifests itself in a unique way. Diagnose and treat accordingly. Acknowledge your feelings and address them. Stay, stay separated, anchored in your emotional center. Have a lot of empathy and compassion for the patient as well as for yourself. Thank you.